Hi guys, welcome to lesson four. Um, once again, we're going to have three videos and today we're going to be working on explaining the relationship between digits and a multi-digit number. Okay, so we did this before in August when we did place value. We talked about the relationship between the digits. Now we're going to be expanding it to decimals. Um, once again, there's three videos and by the end of those three videos and your work today, um, you should be able to explain the relationship between the digits and multi-digit decimal numbers. All right, so as you can see on our screen, we're already into it. Um, I need you to go to problem one in your book. So you're looking for the magnifying glass for lesson four. It is on page 35. So go there now and write down what we're writing. Remember to write everything that I write on the screen, which reminds me, let's get our uh, writing tools up here for us. Making everything big so we don't need to use the other um, presentation. Okay, so five tenths. Oh, sorry. Didn't want to be at five tenths. I want to be at one ten. One ten is 10 times as much as. Okay. So you could have your place value chart um, from your screen, um, you know, your dry erase one, or you could have the one that you used last time, which was on page 23. And you could look at one ten is 10 times as much as what? And it's 10 times as much as one. I wonder if I can make my writing tool a little bit. Not really. Okay. I could make it small and write it small. I don't know. One, one. My writing tool is kind of messy when I have it that big, but I could just show you this one too that already has the answers written in. Um, one, 10 is 10 times as much as 1, 1. So you're writing that down on page 35. And 1, 1 is 10 times as much as 1 tenth. Okay, so you're picturing your place value chart, or hopefully you're looking at your place value chart, and you're seeing that 1, 1 is 10 times as much as a tenth, because it's going, right? 10 is 10 times as much as 1. 1 is 10 times as much as tenths. And then tenths is 10 times as much as hundredths and hundredths is 10 times as much as thousandths. Okay. So we're just going across our place value chart and you have the correct spellings there. Please make sure you're putting the TH on the end of all of your decimals, right? Okay. Um, then one tenth as much. So we could say we're multiplying by one tenth. It's kind of the same as dividing by 10. So we can think of it as when we're going the other way. So one is one tenth as much as one tenth. So one is one tenth as much as one tenth. Okay, so we're starting at one tenth and we'd be going this way. It would be there's 10 tenths in one, right? Okay, and one tenth of one tenth is one tenth as much as one. One hundredth is one tenth as much as one tenth. And one thousandth is one tenth as much as one hundredth. So we're just going this way, right? One thousandth, one hundredth, one hundredth, one tenth, one tenth, one, one, one tenth. Sorry, I think I said that backwards one. Okay. So we're going this way when we're saying one tenth as much, and we're going this way when we're saying 10 times as much. Okay. Well, let's practice that a little bit. And five tenths is 10 times as much as, okay. Five tenths is 10 times as much as. Let me make this one bigger for us. There we go. Five tenths is 10 times as much as. So we're thinking, 
And this is not in your book. This is just for us to do some thinking. Think of five tenths. You can look at your place value chart. And then think of five hundredths. Okay, five tenths is 10 times as much as five hundredths. So if we started with five hundredths, then we multiply by 10, we would end up at tenths. So kind of thinking of it forwards, five tenths is 10 times bigger than five hundredths, right? Five tenths is 10 times as much as five hundredths. Okay, so the answer there is five hundredths. I think I can just show it to you over here and make it a little bit easier. There we go. And you're writing five hundredths. Make sure that you're spelling it correctly. Okay, then two ones is one tenth as much as two tens. So two ones, if I have two in my ones column, hopefully you're looking at your ones column because I don't know how easy it is to see mine. But two ones is one tenth as much as two tenths. So we're saying it's one tenth of two ten two tens right so i have two here then my two here is one tenth because i'm going to the right and then four hundredths is ten times as much as four thousandths right so four hundredths is ten times bigger than four thousandths okay and today we're going to use what we know about place value to describe the relationships between our dust digits in our decimal numbers, just like I talked to you about earlier. I'll see you in our next video for two. Good luck.